Hello everybody, we are doing a Cork and Java first. I'm gonna be teaching you how to make easy at home maple boba tea, so stick around. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to quarkandjava.com, where your go-to place for coffee and wine reviews and how-tos. On this channel, we like to expand and enrich your experience with all your favorite beverages. Make sure you guys hit subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified when all our future videos come out. So, I'm really excited about this one. Uh, all you boba tea, bubble tea, tapioca tea fans are really going to enjoy this, I hope. I'm showing you how to make an easy at home maple uh, boba tea or bubble tea. So just a little background on bubble tea, boba tea, these are all interchangeable words. Um, it's a Taiwanese drink and it's made with tea, traditionally black tea, but you can use really whatever kind of tea you'd like. Um, milk and these tapioca pearls that I am using just the store-bought ones, but you could of course make these if you'd like. Um, and it's a sweet drink. Um, you can make it however sweet or strong or whatever your preference is. So there's a lot of variation with it, what it's called and what's in it, but the main ingredients are the tea, the milk, and the tapioca pearls. So without further ado, I am gonna show you how to make boba tea and bubble tea, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is make your tea. I am using these Earl Grey decaffeinated black tea bags, and I'm gonna use two of these. And what I'm gonna do is just add a cup of water to a saucepan on the stove. Get this going. And um, you want it to come to a boil. And then after you um, your water's boiling, you can just remove it from heat and then stick in your tea bags and let it steep for four to five minutes. Whatever your instructions say for your tea, that's what I would do. But um, this is what I'm gonna do, just these tea bags for four to five minutes uh, in some steeping hot water. Okay, so we have got a nice uh, rolling boil going here. So I am going to just cut this off and just add my tea bags. Just get them in there. Throw this guy back on there and let it steep for four to five minutes. So I have let this steep for a few minutes. I'm just gonna stick it in the fridge, let it cool down. Obviously we don't want the hot tea to mix with the cold milk and the tapioca. So make sure this is completely cooled. And then I'm gonna show you how to do cook the tapioca pearls. All right, so now we're to the fun part. We are gonna make these tapioca pearls. And what I'm gonna do is boil um, five cups of water in my saucepan and put a half cup of tapioca pearls uh, once um, we're boiling and we'll go from there. So here we go, we've got five cups of water. We'll turn our heat back on and get this boiling. And then once this is boiling, I'm gonna throw a half cup of these into the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that ready. Okay, so we are just about boiling. It's been like 10 years, it felt like, but we are there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my tapioca pearls. And I have a half cup of these. And then I'm just gonna swish them around in there. And so what I'm gonna wait for them to do is um, start floating to the top and then boil them for about two minutes while they're floating around the top and then let them simmer, uh, turn off the heat and let them simmer in the slowly rolling boiling water for another two minutes. So all in all, it should take about five minutes or so to, to cook these. So my tapioca pearls are cooked. I'm gonna just take them and strain them into some ice water. So yeah, use a strainer or a slotted spoon or something to make it a little bit easier. Next comes the um, sweetener part. So I am using some maple syrup just for simplicity's sake. Um, a lot of people prefer a simple syrup that can be granulated sugar, brown sugar, equal parts water and sugar. Um, some people use honey, um, um, honey simple syrup. You can use whatever you prefer. If you don't want it sweet, you can just do the tapioca pearls as is, but there's not a whole lot of flavor 
um, just with the pearl. So, um, and it tastes good with a little bit of sweetness. So I recommend doing something sweet. Uh, maple syrup is great. So I'm gonna do maple syrup. And all I'm gonna do is strain these uh, into here and then generously coat with the maple syrup. And just let them sit in this, absorb some of that sweetness. So now we are gonna construct our drink. This is the fun part. So let me grab my tea. Okay, so first I'm gonna add my tapioca pearls in the honey or the maple syrup. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is just kind of like coat this around the glass so that I get some maple syrup kind of all over it. That way I get some sweetness all throughout. And then I'm gonna add just a few ice cubes just to make sure it's nice and cold. Then I'm gonna add my black tea. and top with the milk. I'm using whole milk. If you're dairy sensitive or lactose intolerant or something, you can always use coconut milk, soy milk. There's lots of milk alternatives out there. Um, you know, whatever it is, 2%, half and half, whatever um, that you like, you can use. So. And then I got these really cool straws off of Amazon that are specifically made for boba tea. They're the really round, big, uh, straws. Just give that a nice little stir. So now for the taste. Hmm. Mm. They're nice and chewy. I'm sure that the texture would be a little off-putting for some people if you're not used to it. But I really like it. It's good. And um, the tea is nice and strong, but it's not super overpowering. Um, the maple syrup is just like a nice, like delicate amount of sweetness. It's not overpowering at all. A lot of people will probably like this a lot sweeter than this is. Um, and in that case, like I suggest you use some honey or some uh, brown sugar or something like that, or more maple syrup um, than I used, but I think this is great. And it's really easy. All it takes is, you know, what, 20 minutes or so to make this from start to finish. And um, yeah, these tapioca pearls probably don't keep well. I would, however many you cook is how many I would plan to use. Um, I think that well, these would probably just get like a really weird consistency if you tried to store them. Um, but I mean, I only used a half cup and I still have at least maybe like, I don't know, I'd say like five more of these at least that I can make. Um, so if you're having friends over or something, this would be great for, you know, just a fun drink to experiment with um, and share with friends. All right, make sure you comment below with what your favorite version of boba tea is or bubble tea, whatever you like to call it. Uh, let me know what you use. I'd love to try some variations on this and make sure that you guys give us a thumbs up if you like this video. I am looking forward to seeing you guys online. Make sure you find us on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and on Instagram. So until next time, bottoms up.